TIFU by answering a legit call like I do spam calls. Obligatory on mobile. Long time lurker. First time poster. Yada yada. Blah blah. So, I have a habit of trolling spam callers by answering with goofy stuff. One of my go-tos is whispering, seven days, like the girl in the ring. Onto the part where I screwed up. So, while I was on my lunch break, I got a call from a number marked as fraud risk. Assuming that this was actually the case, I decided to test out something I saw in a video reading Tumblr posts. I answered with, Joe's sperm bank. You squeeze him. We freeze him. How may I direct your call? Quote, as you can probably guess from the title and the fact that this got posted here, it was not actually a spam call. I had ordered from a small business on Amazon and they needed to confirm my mailbox since they ship. Using USPS and I live one a suite. I, of course, apologized profusely, explaining that my phone labeled it as a fraud risk and the lady was understanding. The issue was resolved. TL. DR. Unknowingly answered legit call as a spam call. Person was understanding. Issue was resolved. My ex's go to line is compliance and liability? Quote, generic yet mildly threatening. Most just hang up immediately. Been there haha. But it was a text. And it was my aunt telling us her brother is dying didn't realize that's what it was about before I sent, hail Satan, and a meme of Jesus flinging his fingers like he's flipping you off with both hands lol. Anyway short story I don't respond to stuff like that anymore. Especially now because I have a job where customers contact me all hours so that would not be a fun conversation with my bosses. I applied to a job once accidentally using the wrong email so they called asking for a pseudonym of mine. I had to explain that he doesn't exist and is actually me. I ended up getting hired before quitting a few months later for a better job. I just don't answer them and assume if it's a real call they will leave a message. Last week I got a voicemail from a modem. B e e p p p b o o p p p g d i n g g d i n g b a a for like two minutes solid. Ah, my go-to line is something I picked up here on Reddit a few years back. Nick's abortion clinic and Italian restaurant. Where your loss is our sauce. How may I help you? My go-to answer is city name morgue you stab m we slab m how may we be of service today some people get a kick out of it but it catches most people off guard when i was working at a restaurant i did this to my chef i kept getting spam calls all the time and i would always answer telling to never call again along with some not so safe for work words luckily he was a cool and we laughed about during my shift later that night he 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 sorry for giggling at your f up not an f up if problems are solved my go to line is city morgue you stab m we slab m midgets one half price politicians for free i did to my mother she hung up and redial i also answer thank you for calling jehovah's hotline thanks for taking the time to talk about our lord and savior I always answer my phone with a few seconds of silence now that I'm applying for jobs. If it's a spam call, they either hang up after a couple seconds of silence or reveal themselves pretty quickly. If it's a real person, they usually say, hello, to make sure they got through. Crazy just how many spam calls I've been getting recently. I find it odd that people even answer those calls anymore. I just let it ring and if it's a real person who is trying to get a hold of me, I wait for the voicemail and then call them back. I've answered a call saying, you e had up foo. It was my doctor confirming an appointment. Cold sweat smile. 
My dad used to answer nearly every phone call with, Fred Astaire's dance studio. I'm not sure where he got it but it was fun. I did that with a potential counselor. I was trying to apply for their low-income counseling program and they called me back on a different number than the one I called so I answered in very rapid and angry sounding Russian. I used to get quite a few spam calls. Loads of fun but I'm lucky if I get one or two a year now. Think they blacklisted me. Best one was the, I'm calling from BT. If you don't pay 89 pounds your internet will be cut off. I used to sound all worried. Get them to really lay out the master plan. Then start sending them down rabbit holes with incorrect numbers and false details. Some used to get really annoyed. One even gave me their call line number. Hee <laughs> hee. I did something near to this. Me and my GF was living in London at this time. When you live in England you get spam calls from time to time. As my GF was listed on the phone record with an Asian name. We would get calls from people speaking with an Asian accent. K this day. My GF had just closed one such spam call. When I pick up the next. Lo and behold. It's an Asian accent. I immediately shift mode to my spam call voice. After a bit back and forward. It's actually my GF's aunt also living in London. What missing from this is that my way of dealing with them is a very aggressive and how dare you call. Me tone of voice. GF had to explain. That is how I speak with that sort of people. Later I got to meet the aunt in person. And we hit some common point of views on the world and I sorta of repaired my representative. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.